Alright, Osmo Tips here. We're going to show you the new feature on the Wodes on how to rip discs. Uh, so I've got a little USB stick, you can plug in a hard drive obviously. Uh, to show you there's no ISOs available, just to show you the tricks here. Uh, so I'm going to go to the main menu, go to Advanced Ripper. I'm going to get my original copy of New Super Mario Brothers. Insert it in there, and you'll see now it goes from empty to ready. Uh, what format? I want to do WBFS, the quickest way and rip the game only because I don't want any of the junk data start so it's starting to rip uh, I'm gonna start my little timer here on the iPhone so you can see how quickly it runs and uh, the difference between WBFS and ISO is WBFS will uh, will be the actual size of the game uh, and ISO will always be for a single layer disk 4.4 gig Whereas WBFS file will just be the size of the data on the game, so it doesn't, you don't lose any game settings or, or video quality, it just uh, rips out the, the data that isn't being used at all. Um, so for New Super Mario Bros, the game is actually only 370 meg. Um, and the reason why I said Wii game without the uh, update is uh, I've already put the disc in, it's already updated the console. Uh, you know, so the game works. So there's no reason to rip the uh, update component on there, which is actually about 100, uh, 170 meg, I think it is for this game. The word will also rip the BCA data automatically. For those that don't know, there's a new protection on the new Super Mario Bros. disc. Only this game, but uh, in the future there might be some some new games that, that will have the same protection. Um, and basically the WoW can, can handle that quite well, just rips the data out and, uh, yeah. I'm using a micro SD card here, so the transfer speed is a little bit slower. If you use a hard drive, the speed of this game is actually 1 minute and uh, 50 seconds. Uh, but it's actually taking a little bit longer than that, obviously, because I'm using a, a, a poor quality, cheaper micro SD card. You can rip to FAT32, NTFS, and EXT3. FAT32 is the fastest, which is what I'm doing now. You can also rip to NTFS, but it takes, I think, about four to five times longer. Uh, so if you're getting a woe and you're just planning to rip your original games only, uh, and you've got a brand new DVD, a uh, brand new uh, USB drive, you're better off just wiping it clean formatting in FAT32 and that way you've got lightning fast speeds for ripping it again. So almost done now. Seems to have taken uh, almost a minute longer than a hard drive but that's okay. Didn't want to plug in my hard drive so I've already got um, seven or eight games on there. Alright so we're going to show you the game working now. So after it's done, rip complete, ejects the disk, take the disk out. Stop that. Go back to the main menu, go to select game, and there it is. It, they don't need, need to name it anything, it already strips the update, uh, the uh, the name out, New Super Mario Brothers. Put the disc in, it'll wait a couple of seconds and start to spin the disc. As you can see up there on the screen, uh, the game will recognize and work. How easy is that? And that's it, that's the way up and running.